I'd just like to share with you the 3D simulation software that I've just designed. It is a distance le learning package that is designed to train online. It has um, capabilities to store to a database all the results of where you've been and what you've done and store all that information which can be retrieved later through a database. Um, it's designed to run on a learning management system and let's just get to it shall we? Here we have a 3D environment. It's only two megabytes in size. It's designed to stream off the internet and um, you can walk around this whole thing and look at different areas of it. It's, it's an introduction to um, a sewage treatment plant management system where you can learn how to operate everything. Uh, first of all you get a guided tour. Let me just zoom in a bit closer to that. Okay, so you get a guided tour of the whole environment. It explains to you different things. You can roll over the different objects, different parts of the objects which tell you um, what they are and you can jump to the different areas of the flows of sewage and effluent and it'll tell you about it and once you've familiarized yourself with all the flows of the system you can then jump into a pre-start routine which will let you check all the valves and everything before you actually even um, go through and turn the machine on so here is an animation which just runs through. You can push it along by just clicking on the arrow and that will just bump it to the next timeline animation. Okay, so here we go. It tells you which valves to turn on. Uh, okay, we'll just quickly run through this. Here we go. Rotate the other side. There's a few more hidden valves down here which are hard to get at, which are important too to make sure that they're closed. If you leave them open, you can do all sorts of damage to the to the plant. Okay, so this is a timeline-based animation where you don't really have much intervention except for prodding on to either go to the next part of the timeline or back again. Right, so let's run it through a little bit more, a bit more detail in there. As I said before, this whole um, package is 2 megabytes in size. It uh, reads and writes to a database and it has approximately 68,000 polygons and ooh, it's about 15 or 16 texture maps involved with this. Okay. Let's just run this through. At the end of this demonstration, you'll be asked to do a pre a self test where you can actually um, test to see whether you can have will have stored the information that you've just re gleaned from watching this this demonstration. How much knowledge you've stored. The 3D model was uh, modeled in, in Max, 3ds Max, and the interactive 3D component part of it has been authored in Anarch. Right, now let's go to the self-test. Now in the self-test, you can walk around, you've got free play now. You can actually walk around the whole of this sewage treatment plant. You can look up and down, have a good look around. You can even get to the top of it and have a look at it from the top around there. Okay, so let's jump back down to the ground. It's got a gravity of um, 10 milliseconds per uh, hang on, meters per second. Yeah, it actually does simulate the real world quite well. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to turn these valves on as a as a preset pre-start check. You must excuse me, I've had a few wines. All right, so we've got to turn these valves this way. They're on. They're on. Turn the seawater valves on. Um, that one has to be turned off, I think. 
I built the thing, I should know. Uh, there's the sound of the motor when it's actually turned on. Right, so we better turn the outflow on. Jump around. Turn this one here off. Right, there's something else that's not yet ready. Let me think. Perhaps it's this one here. Yes, success! Great success! We have just successfully completed a pre-start check routine. Right, so that gets stored onto the database now to say that yes, you've achieved that part of the lesson. And then you can jump onto the different areas, which are um, on this left-hand side of the web page, which I designed. Let's just pull this back again and you'll see it there, right. So that you go to the next part of the module. Right, and then at towards the end of this all, when you've, you've um, successfully um, passed all these different routines, you are then led to a area where you have high level um, fault finding um, scenarios where if the motor is overheating or the cell is overheating or something's blocking up, you then have to figure out why and um, troubleshoot it, which is in a different part of the um, whole package. But yes, it's a pretty good little package and uh, I'd just like to share that with you, that yes, there is a lot of potential out there for um, 3D training online through a streaming type of format. And yeah, that's all from me.